Hi everybody, Miss Melinda here. It's Tuesday, August 2nd, and I would like to wish you all a happy new moon in Leo. Um, it's a wonderful time of the month and a wonderful time of the year, so I'm really happy about that. Um, I've had a recent request to do a video regarding um, self-esteem or um, self-confidence in women. So I'm going to give you um, nine practical tips for building up your self-confidence and building up your self-esteem. Um, I'm not totally looking at this from a magical perspective, although some of the tips that I'm going to give you have to do with spirituality, um, but this is mostly coming from a practical perspective. So I hope that it's helpful. Um, I am going to be referring to my notes once again to keep me on task, so if you see me looking down, that's what I'm doing. So number one is that I would advise you to um, look at things from a positive perspective. So don't focus on your problems, focus on your goal. Because whatever you focus on, whatever you give attention and energy to, is going to grow. So, for instance, if your problem is low self-esteem, don't continually think about how you have low self-esteem and you're not feeling good about yourself. Instead, think about how your goal is to build confidence. Think about confidence. Focus on confidence, right? Okay, so number two. Um, I advise people to meditate for all kinds of purposes, and this is a great purpose to meditate for as well. Um, whenever you meditate, you're helping to build new neuropathways in your brain, um, new pathways of thinking, new pathways of feeling. I'm going to talk more about this in later videos, so um, don't worry, you'll get more information. But um, what I want to say here is to, to work on your self-confidence and um, self-esteem, you should focus on good feelings about yourself. So meditate on and focus on good feelings. Learn how to conjure up good feelings. Um, imagine what it feels like to feel proud of yourself, um, to love yourself. You can use um, memories to do this if you need to. You can think about a time when you felt a lot of love. You felt strong love, strong accept acceptance. Um, remember what that feels like. Focus on that feeling and build it up within yourself and focus it on yourself. Okay? Um, number three, don't neglect yourself physically. Um, so this might seem like a no-brainer. A couple of the things I'm going to mention might seem um, pretty common sense, but I think we can all use some reminders, right? So don't neglect yourself physically no matter what. Um, any, any small step that you take to make yourself feel better physically is going to be helpful. Um, for instance, when I exercise, when I work out or do yoga, um, I may not see immediate physical results from the exercise that I'm doing. However, I notice that I feel better immediately. I feel better about the way I look physically, even if I don't see those results, because it's a, it's a psychological thing. When we know that we're working on ourselves and taking care of ourselves, it makes us take more pride in ourselves. So any small steps that you can take to take care of yourself physically, um, whether that's, you know, making sure that you, that you look the best that you can when you leave the house, or, you know, making sure that you're taking care of your skin, making sure that you're getting a little physical exercise, and I don't, it doesn't have to be elaborate things, just small self-care tasks to make you feel good. Just don't neglect yourself, okay? Um, number four, this is a great idea. I, I would suggest that you get a seven-day candle in um, multiple colors, the kind that has a different color for each day of the week. Um, light it every day for about 15 or 20 minutes, and think of something good about yourself, something you appreciate about yourself, something you love about yourself for each color of that candle. So each day that you sit down, you, you will focus on that thing that you love or you, you appreciate about yourself 
and you'll focus on that for as long as that color burns. You'll focus on how you're grateful for that, um, how you appreciate yourself, how, you know, how much gratitude you have, uh, okay? And then, yeah, do that for seven days, and I think that you'll notice just practicing gratitude, practicing um, thinking about what you like about yourself is really going to make a big difference. Um, number five, be sure that you are surrounding yourself with people that appreciate you for who you really are and people who recognize your attributes, um, recognize your strengths, and people who offer you praise, offer you um, support, right? So sometimes part of our self-esteem or self-confidence issues can be just the people or the circumstances or the environments that we are around, okay? So be careful about that. Look out for that in your life. Number six, spend time outside and or find other ways, find ways to increase your endorphins. So lots of research has been done about um, being outside, about um, even just seeing plants around you or seeing plants in the distance in front of you helps to change the way, change the chemistry in our brain. It actually produces um, endorphins, it improves our um, thinking, it improves our memory, our intelligence, and it improves our happiness. So um, being outside is a great way to increase your endorphins and feel good. Um, there are lots of other ways to increase your endorphins and feel good. So do some research about that and find some ways to just um, feel good from like a biological perspective, right? That's, that's um, one kind of hack or trick that can help out a lot. Um, seven, do not buy into the beauty product hype, okay? Um, there are, s the, there, the media tells us a lot about all of these expensive um, beauty products that we need in order to fight aging, um, you know, in order to look our best, in order to be youthful forever, in order to be thin, blah, blah, blah. Um, this is another area where doing your research is really going to come in handy. These beauty products um, all came originally from natural ingredients. So there are a lot of natural things that you can find that are much cheaper and just as um, beneficial as some of these very expensive beauty products and that will help you look your best and feel great. So don't buy into the hype that you need to buy a $200 face cream in order to prevent yourself from getting wrinkles. Um, do some research, you know, use some ingredients from your kitchen and um, I think that you'll feel a lot better. So number eight, avoid negative images from the media. Yes, please. Um, if you watch a lot of TV, if you look at a lot of fashion magazines, um, you may or you may not notice that those images are having an effect on your subconscious. Those images are having an effect on um, how you feel about yourself. Um, as women, we're constantly bombarded with ideas of perfection, ideas of youth, ideas of being thin, ideas of, you know, standards of beauty that we may not be able to live up to, that most of us do not live up to. So try to avoid those images. If you watch a lot of television, if you look at a lot of magazines and you're having problems with your self-confidence or your self-esteem, just maybe you can cut some of that out of your life. Um, I think that doing so will, will you'll see a big difference. Um, and maybe if you are unsure about cutting out your television, you can do it on a trial basis. Do it for a month. Do it for a, three weeks. Um, look at it as a kind of um, mental detox and just try it out and see if you notice a difference. See if you feel better. Um, those images are having an effect on us, so keep that in mind. Number nine, pay attention to the way that you think and change it. So start being aware of the thoughts that are going on in your head all the time. There's chatter in there constantly, right? It, um, sometimes there's chatter in the background going on 
behind all of our everyday things and a lot of times it can be negative self-talk. So start trying to pay close attention to that and when you hear something that's negative about yourself, counteract it with something positive. And the more that you pay attention to that and the more that you counteract those negative thoughts, I guarantee you, you're going to feel a lot better. You're going to notice a big difference. Um, it does take work and it does take time, but it's worth it. It's uh, one of the greatest ways to focus on working on yourself, on changing your thoughts, changing your behaviors. Um, I think that you'll see a big difference. So. That's my nine tips for self-confidence and self-esteem. I hope that you enjoy the video. Um, please share the video, like the video. Um, let me know if you have any questions or if there's anything here that you'd like me to elaborate on. As always, I'm happy to answer questions or elaborate on any topics in a future video. So thanks for watching. Um, happy New Moon. Have a good day.